In May of 2010, a father and his teenage son traveled to Washington armed with a media pass and a flip camera. Little did they know they were about to change not only their own lives, but send a ripple across the country and indeed the world. The Place, the Jewish heritage celebration on the White House lawn. The Players, David Nesanoff, rabbi, blogger, filmmaker. Helen Thomas, White House media correspondent for 50 years, covered 10 presidencies, sat in the front row at presidential news briefings, known as the Dean of the White House Press Corps. Any comments on Israel? We're arresting everybody today. Any comments Tell them on to Israel? get the hell out of Palestine. Ooh. <laughs> Any better comments? <laughs> <laughs> Remember, these people are occupied, and it's their land. It's not German, it's not Poland. So where should they go? What should they do? They go home. Where's the home? Poland. So the Jews, Germany. The, the Jews go back to Poland and Germany. And, and America and everywhere else. Anti-Israel sentiments in Washington are not unusual, but Helen Thomas's blatantly anti-Semitic remarks sent the video into a viral spin. Viewed by millions worldwide and picked up by national networks, her comments drew rebuke from President Obama. The comments were offensive. Robert Gibbs. Those remarks were offensive and reprehensible. And other leading political figures. Helen Thomas, the dean of the White House press corps, left the White House this week. Helen Thomas was forced to retire. David Nesanoff was thrust into the spotlight and received 25,000 pieces of hate mail. Whatever one's political views regarding the situation in Israel, when reading the news, we like to imagine we're getting the facts from an unbiased source.